During extraordinary times, there are those who rise to the needs of those times, such as the case of Corey Milligan of New West Knife Works in Jackson, working together with Teton Distillery to produce hand sanitizer. Milligan says the intent is to distribute the product free to those in critical need in the two Teton counties and thus draw attention to the preventive efforts the public should make to keep themselves safe and send them to wearejhwy.com for more information. How much are they? They're free. Yes, $25,000 for the cost of the effort so far have come directly out of Milligan's pocket. Milligan says he became keenly interested in the situation here after having just returned from Italy prior to the first case of the virus there. Realizing the virus would be coming here, he said he determined to do everything his company could to slow down the infection as fast as they could. I, I was a history major in college, and so I, I feel like I can always kind of view today through the lens of history, maybe a little more than some folks. And for at least a couple weeks, I, I have realized that this is the most significant event probably of my lifetime. And a big challenge for me, a lot of, a lot of that has been to get people to understand that this is not like anything they've ever experienced. Just a little backstory. I was on the Teton County search and rescue team for over 10 years. And so today, my friends from search and rescue are now the head ER docs for our local hospital. Uh, another is the, the chief of the fire department and, and EMS. So I called all of them and it was clear to me that they, they were taking the steps necessary to prepare us for the virus. They knew it was coming to and that it was gonna come fast. As I talked to them though, I realized that there was, there was this major disconnect. They were preparing, but everyone in the community was not. And so, you know, it's really just when the flattening the curve concept was really starting to hit the mainstream. And I realized that my friends cut. So I realized it was my friends that were going to take the brunt of this. So I just decided I needed to do everything I could to help. So on March 14th, We Are Jackson Hole was born. And it was born to do two things with a very clear, defined goal. The first goal was to create a PR campaign that taught people four simple steps of social distancing. One stay six feet away from others. Two, if you have contact with anyone or anything they have touched, wash your hands or hand sanitize immediately. Three, if you're sick, go home, stay home, call the doctor. Four, if you can work at home, work at home. If you can't work at home, don't come if you're sick and follow the first two rules. Everyone has to do their part. The people on the front lines of this, the doctors, the ambulance drivers, the fire department, the police, they are going to give their all to this. Everyone in our community can do their part so that it can make their job easier. <laughs>